Narrowboat, 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 Will. Oh, I like him. He lives on a boat, doesn't he? I know you guys like your DIY. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me a little welder out. This little beautiful Uber ZX7. ZX7200, which I've welded anodes. I've welded a fire with it. I've welded loads of stuff. Uh, I'm going to weld my weed hatch. And I've cleaned it all out. It's all last all that condensation. There's stacks of it. So I'm going to take the weed hatch out. I'm going to weld some handles on the top because it's a pig to get out. And I'm, I've cleaned all, all the inside. It's all dry in there now. A new seal on there. I'm going to run it around for a bit. Then check see if there's any water in there again because there's loads of condensation before. I've watched my last vlog. So here we go, let's watch me weld. These things here are the little loops that you get on your mooring pins. Now I don't know about you, but every time I smash the mooring pins in, these, these tend to just pop off. And the mooring pins bend and all that kind of stuff. So the mooring pins have gone. And now I've, I've left these on because I've meant to weld them back on, but then the mooring pins were no good in the end anyway. So anyway, I've got these spare. I'm going to use these as handles. Just got to clean the rust off and flatten those edges and then get them ready for welding. So there we go. Let's have a look at that, shall we? Let's see how we get on with this. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave that one flat, so I've got a handle to lift it up there. And I'm going to put that one like that. So I've got to get my bar in, this re bit of rebar in. I have to feed it out this way, you see, so I don't want this standing up. I'm leaving it flat, and I'm putting that one up like that. So I'm going to mark it where it is now. So I know I can get my uh, rebar off and that stain, whatever it is. The, um, what's that bar called there? I don't know what it's called. The clamp. That clamp bar. And I'm going to uh, weld this on there. And then put a new seal on. Okay, wish me luck. I realise I can't, I realise I can't put one on there. Because this just fits out of that gap. So that one's out the window, I'll have to stand it up. Because it comes out, it comes out this way. You know, it's a very thin gap to get it out of. I've got my, uh, I've got my grinder set up and I've got the engine running and I'm running this through the inverter. I'm also running the welder through the inverter. Uh, it seems to handle it all right. So I'm just grinding these, um, the feet of these off flat and I'm putting some sort of edges on them so I can get a welder into the sides so I can weld, get a nice weld. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a professional welder or anything like that, I'm just like, I've given it a go. I'm a give it a go person, you know. Just getting some marking it up here, look. And just making sure I know where, where the handles are going to be. I'm going to put some, I'm going to grind a couple of uh, clean spots. So I can uh, weld to the uh, clean metal, just grind all the paint off. And it doesn't have to be pretty, it just needs to be functional because no one's going to see it in there. I'm probably never going to go in there again until the seal needs changing or I have to uh, take it off. And it's an absolute pig to take off when you need to go in there. So these handles are coming handy. Just trying to get a decent earth. I'll make sure I close my eyes when I do this and uh, I'm trying to get a decent earth for the welder I can't seem to get one no I can't have one there underneath doesn't seem to be any good so what I'm going to have to do I'm going to have to grind grind make sure the welder's on yeah welder's on right okay I'm going to have to grind a piece of clean metal uh, on the edge somewhere so I can get the clamp on and then do a bit of clean metal there, so put the clamp on there, that'll be a decent earth then. So I can get on with the welding. Right now, where did I put that earth earth clamp? Where is it? Uh, oh yeah, it's under there, isn't it? Yeah, put that onto there, a bit of clean metal so I can weld. Now the welder, yeah, I shook, the you know, welder should work, fantastic. So I, what I do here, I'm thinking, oh, you're not using a mask. I know I'm not using a mask because I can't hold the mask and hold that at the same time so I close my eyes if you notice I'm closing my eyes when I uh, when I weld and you don't want to be looking at that light because you give you arc eye 
So here we go, it's got a couple of spots to hold it and I'm going to weld it on there. I've got a couple of old rods that I want to use up and these aren't new rods, just old ones. And that beautiful welder, as you can see, it's welding really, really nice. I've got a new rod on now, so I'm just going to tap, tap all the slag off. I love that word, slag. You slag. I'm going to tap all the slag off and that's pretty, it's hot, but it's pretty uh, solid already. A uh, bit of a wire brush and then uh, around there so I get another clean weld it's just start there's some gaps that I need to fill in on that with the welder so I'm just cleaning those off with a wire brush and uh, just finish those off to make it look a bit tidier and a bit stronger so there we go on that one I do I do enjoy welding and I, any, any chance I can get the welder out I do I absolutely love it you know, nice metal but not rusty stuff rusty stuff's not very nice to weld my inverter seems to be coping really well and this welder doesn't doesn't cut out it doesn't really overeat um, a couple of bit of buzzing from my my inverter I think it's on its probably on its maximum potential uh, but it seems to cope all right the engines running so well uh, yeah doing really well that's what you need when you're at narrowboats you've got to have everything uh, you know what to hand you know in the middle of nowhere you just need this need the tools you need all your welders and stuff like that so there we are just welding that last bit on and making sure that's sound getting all the gaps at the back yeah, so there we are finish that a bit of spray on it got a bit of etching primer here and um, there's a tiny bit left in the, in the bottom of the tin just enough to cover that those uh, that bits of rust oh, it's run out now look typical there's a little bit left oh come on no I think it's that's it now it's finished it's over so yeah in the summertime I'll paint this never gonna see it underneath there no one cares about it but you know it's handy now with those handles on it just got this ceiling uh, tape to put onto the uh, weed hatch now what I've done with this I've, I've it's a lot thicker than this normally but I've cut it in half a bit of grease on my hands there look so I'm, I'm gonna put grease on this as well as you'll see at the end yeah I've cut it in half this double thickness normally and that gets wasted so what I've done I've cut the tape in half so it's only half thick so that's about two inches thick there look uh, width so it's when you put it on, anybody who's got a narrowboat will know when you take your weed hatch off, half the tape is not even used. So I thought to myself, cut it in half and don't uh, waste so much, you know. So I'll just put this last bit of tape on. And um, see there, look, that's the thickness of it. I've cut it in half so I don't use so much. And it goes twice as far. So, you know, hey, top tip. Save you money when you're tight like me. So just, this is self-adhesive stuff, just stick it on there and then get your Stanley blade out. Just put some nice cuts across the corner to corner. It's quite simple and easy to get these, um, get this nice finish. I'm just going to put some bit of waterproof grease in those gaps when I've finished. There you go, look. Just showing you there, you've got a nice clean finish. And then Put a slap a bit of the old, uh, bit of the old waterproof grease. Uh, some people said put um, a bit of silicon, put some silicon on there, but you always guarantee that you get your find your silicon tube and it's gone off. All the all the cap's gone hard and it's rock hard inside. Every time you put you put a screw in it, you put the caps on it, you put you put uh, in a plastic bag over it so it stops it stops the air getting to it. We still guarantee it goes off. As soon as you open that thing, it goes off. So a bit of grease, eh? Yeah, better than nothing, isn't it? Just a splurge it. A bit liberal with the grease. Splurge it into the corners. You beauty, look at that look, eh? Very, very splurgy there. And just forcing it into the corners there. So when there's a lot of force behind that prop when it's, you know, uh, washing the water up into this weed hatch. There's a lot of force when you're reversing and forwarding. So there we are. That's that. Filthy thumbs up. Right now it's a moment of truth. See if it fits back in all right. I can get that um, that retaining bar back on. And uh, this thing's bloody heavy. And getting it out without handles on it, it's even harder. And I smash my fingers on doing this. 
drop it on my hand. So I crush about three fingers, isn't it? There we go. So squash fingers later, it's on. There we are. Handles on. New seal. Greased. I grease the edges. Just to make certainly sure. Now I'm going to check, keep an eye on this, see if any water around here again. Wow. It's not a hard job, that's just hard to get into. And these, oh, solid. A little welder. Oh, I love you, my ZX200. Hope you enjoyed that. Give me a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe if you enjoy my sort of DIY and my general potting around the country. Thanks a lot.